Tips you can show here with a review of the Power Ranger Super Mega Force, Mystic Dragon Zord, and Green Ranger. Now included in this set is the Mystic Dragon Zord right here, a Mystic Force Red Ranger key, and the Green Ranger figure here. Um, it's got a little bit of paint on it. It doesn't move at, at all. There's no articulation at all. And basically he sits on top of the Mystic Dragon for some reason or another. I don't know why. But these figures are really pointless, so away he goes. Well, so here's the Mystic Dragon, the power of the Power Rangers Mystic Force in Zord form. It looks a lot different than the Mystic Dragon in the actual Mystic Force show, um, but that's okay. It uh, took quite a redesign in Go Kyger and I didn't fully mind because it did end up looking pretty cool. Now, uh, our version is uh, a lot bit truncated. It doesn't have as much color, doesn't have as much paint apps, but uh, is obviously quite a bit cheaper. Um, the tail is a little bit more streamlined, however, now he has these giant hips. He's got a really super giant thigh hip things. Uh, that's really funny. But uh, he can move a little bit. He can hide inside of his crotch. Uh, which we'll take a look at later. His mouth does not appear to open, even though it looks like it does. Um, and his wings do unhinge a little bit here, and they can flap. Because if you take the key and pop it in there, basically prodding its keyhole with the key will make him flap. So take that in whatever context you wish. Uh, but they do lock into place so they don't have to flap around. So he, he's pretty small, but uh, really neat in the end. I do enjoy him. Um, like I said, not as colorful as the Sentai counterpart, but uh, as a $15 toy, he's not too bad given what he does with the Megazord. As a standalone toy, he's not that great, but uh, these are Zords. They're meant to combine. So what are you going to do besides combine them? But before we do that, we're going to take a look at the Ranger key included. Now, this is painted a little bit differently than the one in the key set. The uh, chest is actually a little bit more accurate to Mystic Force, but that's a weird little way of doing it. So here we go. What a surprise. Still really cool because I do love Mystic Force quite a bit. And if we pop it into our key scanner app. It's Morphin Time! Mystic Force. Ready! And there we go. So, nothing crazy, as usual, but uh, still really cool. I do like the key. I like the way it looks a little bit better than the one in the key pack. Uh, the chest looks a little bit more correct to me. But um, still really cool nonetheless. I guess we'll keep him aside. We don't really need him anymore, though. So, when I already went over the functions of the dragon. There really isn't too much else uh, to do with him. So, what we're going to do is basically dismantle his entire being. Just pop everything off and fold him up just like so so he's a little brick now and move all of our dragon parts aside and bring in the legendary megazord all right so obviously you can insert the key to do this but i'm just gonna pop it open because mine can do that um, I am going to put the key in the back, however, because there is a function that I need to show off. But uh, just put the curled up dragon inside his chest piece like this. Now from here you can actually fold it back up uh, if you want to. So you, you, you can do that. Um, in fact, we're going to go ahead and see how that uh, ends up working. So we'll pop that in here. Now, the instructions in the back of the box show multiple different ways of combining this, uh, but I'm just going to do it the way that I feel is most appropriate. Uh, so you take the tail pieces, and I don't think it really matters which one is which, pop them into the Zord Builder port down here, and then fold that down a little bit. 
if you so wish. It doesn't really matter either way. Same thing over here. Just like that. So now you have little claws covering the sub and hauler wheeler wheeler. Correct. Uh, and now here's where things get a little bit different between the back of the box. That was my dog. The <clears throat> Now here's where things get a little bit different between the back of the box and the package. Now one method has you putting the wings on the side ports right here as I whack the key with a wing. Right here. And what that allows is that allows the arms to move fully. Uh, plus it looks quite a bit more streamlined. Uh, now the other method is more accurate to the show and has the wings popping out right here. And now the issue is this jet wing, because it's now a Zord Builder port, they didn't make the port long enough. Um, I can get by with just doing that, but you are supposed to move that, uh, but you are supposed to move that uh, jet flap thing, so. Keep that in mind, um, but the, the only issue with this formation is that you can't move the arms anymore because uh, you have to move these up quite a bit. But uh, we're going to go ahead and leave them like that for now and we'll change it up later. So now if we take our key and then he gets stuck because that's our life. So now if we take our key, he will flip up, fold his horns up if he didn't pop out appropriately. And there we have the Mystic Force Legendary Megazord. Um, Legendary Mystic Force Megazord. I'm not sure which method they're going with. We've only seen one episode at the time of this recording. So I don't know what they're going with. But um, still really cool uh, nonetheless. So you've got some pretty decent uh, wingspan going on here. Now the wings, again, aren't as colorful as the Go Kydra counterpart. But a part of me kind of likes that. I like how... Um, just kind of straight up and organized that it ends up looking. Uh, now, me, myself, I prefer the wings on the side here. Just because, one, I don't have to remove that um, port on there, the, the little sail on the jet wing. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Plus, I just really like the way that it ends up looking with the wings on the side. I just think it looks really neat. Now lastly, one other thing you can do is attach these directly to the ports in the back and give him uh, wings coming out of his back. So you can do that as well. Uh, now one thing I really do like um, about the Legendary Megazord version is down here at the legs, uh, these are quite a bit bigger and they fully cover the sub and the wheeler. Uh, front parts, so it really does look like he's got dragon claws on his feet now. As opposed to how the Japanese one functioned, the claws were quite a bit tinier and didn't fully cover the pieces, and it didn't look quite as good. So overall, I actually really like the formation. I'm a huge fan of dragons, a huge fan of Mystic Force, and I've always really liked this combination. There's a lot of things that the Legendary Megazord version does that I really do enjoy. Um, in terms of streamlining the product and making it look a little bit more pleasing to the eyes. Um, and that's one thing I love about this. Plus, with this being built out of Zord Builder ports, you can attach these to the MMPR 2010 Megazord, Dino Megazord, whatever, uh, Samurai, Megaforce, whatever. Um, granted, the middle portion can't really be used for a whole lot, but the wings and the claws can, and I think that's pretty neat. Um, plus, as you collect more of these, you can start making some really weird combinations between all of the Zords, uh, something that uh, Super Mega Force really never does. And I really think that's uh, unique and cool to this line, and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of weird things we can build. For $14.97 or $14.99, wherever you pick it up at, it's not that bad of a purchase. Um, it's probably my favorite of the three that are out, just because I like it better than a car and the other two cars. So we don't really have too much in the way of options right now. But overall, I really do enjoy it, and I think it's worth the $14.99 and not a problem at all. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.